try, adapt, learn. In this video, we're going to try to do a few experiments while building a few stands for items around the computer desk. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now for more videos including DIY, maintenance, and projects. I had begun to use scrap wood as stands for some of the items around the computer. These peripherals or external devices include a phone, keyboard, and mouse. I started by measuring and cutting the phone stand. The stands were very basic being made of scrap wood cut to length. I wanted to build them while trying a few experiments on how to finish the wood. Please keep in mind that the procedures in this video are not a how-to, but experiments. A table saw which I don't have or clamping the piece of wood down while using another tool could achieve safer and better results for the angle cuts. That being said, I used a cold chisel to knock out the remaining pieces of wood. These were still very rough, but I didn't want to spend too much time as most of this was an experiment anyway. However, as seen, the phone would still fit into the cut and this piece of wood would be used as the phone stand. Next was the keyboard stand, which also was a basic cut piece of scrap wood. Now the reason why I did this is because I wanted to raise the keyboard up about an inch. This would help with ergonomics and the angle of my wrist while using the keyboard. This piece of scrap wood was measured and cut to fit both the keyboard and mouse pad right next to it. Although these are rough cuts, I still wanted to do a little bit of sanding on the wood. And to go along with the scrap theme, I used a scrap piece of sandpaper. If I can remember, it was 180 grit. These small scrap pieces will be used on the corners at the bottom of the computer case to raise it up a little. I also sanded other pieces of wood for this project like this. The larger 4x4 piece of scrap wood was also used as another test cut. I also sanded this piece of wood. As mentioned, I wanted to use these basic cuts to experiment with wood finishes. I figured since these are scrap wood pieces, I really had nothing to lose. I wanted to see how a dark wood stain would look. I used a dark colored wood stain called ebony. Most of the time you would apply wood stain, let it sit, then wipe off the stain after a certain amount of time. I wanted this really dark but liked that the stain still let you see some of the wood texture. Now after applying the wood stain and optionally wiping it off, you'd usually use some kind of top coat such as polyurethane. I also wanted to see how a dark polyurethane finish would look on the wood. That being said, I wanted these pieces really dark and I forgot that I had already had polyurethane with dark stain premixed into it. The color of this combination polyurethane and stain is called Mission Oak. So although I had stained it, continuing on with the experiment, I chose to use the dark polyurethane and stain anyway. Along with the tint of the finish, I also wanted to see what would happen when applying these finishes with a shop towel rather than a brush. The polyurethane, like the stain, went on easy with the shop towel. The advantage is that it's cheaper than the brush, but the disadvantage is that you use a lot more of the material. Overall, I was still satisfied with the result of the finish. Even though it ended up not showing the red grain, I still liked it because it was dark. In fact, it was so dark it was as opaque as what paint would be. Although it looked like it had a gloss paint job, it did have a quick dry time. The color ended up being a very dark brown. So even as a paint alternative, it does have a very unique color. So there's no clear advantages to doing things the wrong way, but overall this was a quick and easy process. I would do this again if there were other scrap wood pieces that just needed to get covered quickly with color and they aren't the focal point for the fit and finish. Here are some additional views with some of the peripherals placed on top of the wood. And as seen, most of these have been used a few years. The stands and peripherals will be placed on a desktop similar color to this workbench. And although the dark brown is really dark, there is a little bit of contrast when you put the black components on the top of it. Although I had the pieces on the wood when it was dry, I did let the wood sit for about a week to totally cure before bringing it inside. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.